Hi, I'm Anthony Zhang. I'm a Snowflake data engineer here at KCM Solutions. And today we're going to look at the Snowflake Snowside UI and see how we can do some simple data analysis. And today we're going to be using the city bike trips data. As you can see here in this table, we have a lot of info on the ride duration where people start by using this data. As you can see here, kind of working with 61 million rows. Well, let's just say we're a data analyst and we're tasked with finding maybe some simple trends here in the bikes, maybe which seasons is it busiest, does weather affect it, maybe busiest station. So first, let's see the trips over time. So you can see here, we can see the result like the simple query, but you know, it's a little hard to see what the trend is here. So if we go right here to the chart, just like a simple business intelligence tool like Tableau, we can visualize it right away. And it's a little difficult to read because there's no bucketing here, but we can add directly here. So if we go to month, we can see that there does seem to be a trend, which the warm months here, it peaks usually around September, then the rides drastically goes down, which means that maybe weather could play big factors. This is the New York data. So if we were data analysts, maybe we would take note of this and we'll explore this a little further. And then let's see which day of the week is it busiest? So we run this query again. As you can see, we should get a result. So you want to visualize it. We'll change the chart type directly here. Okay. Set our x axis as the days of the week. As you see here, it looks, makes sense that Monday through Friday is the busiest. So maybe we can conclude that these are working days. So people may be using these bikes to commute a lot as Saturday and Sunday have drastically less rides. So let's take a look at which stations are the busiest as well. So once again, we'll get a result, all of them here. Just simply use a chart and take a look. Once again, X axis has stations. Right here, we can see that these are some heavily populated, most popular stations. Just take a general look. And let's see how long each person rides. So by each day, we can see how long each person is using the bike for. So let's go to our table here. And we see another trend here that on Saturday and Sunday, the trips are the longest compared to Monday through Friday. So maybe a trend here we can see is that people really are commuting Monday, Friday on these bikes as the rides are a lot shorter. And Saturday, Sunday, people are using this for pleasure, maybe sightseeing, which is why the duration is much longer. Now let's say we wanted to also use weather to see if weather is a factor, but right now we don't have any weather database, but we also, but at a third party source, we already have this weather right here set up in this S3 Amazon AWS bucket. So let's say we want to pull data from there. So first we'll create a database. See, it's been successfully created. And then we'll create a table and what we can do in Snowflake is because we know this is JSON data, which is semi-structured. We'll just create something called the, the variant column and this will hold all the JSON data. Here we'll create a table for it. Then Snowflake will also create a, a staging area where we will stage to S3 AWS data. So we'll create a stage. And here we will load the data. Keep in mind this is JSON data. So we will specify the file format here. And then take a quick look. See, we have loaded all this data. So this is all semi-structured data that we have loaded in a matter of seconds with just some simple SQL queries. We didn't have any ETL or complex transformation. We just did everything under this variant column. As you can see, V stands for variant. This is all of our JSON file. With all of our data has already been loaded. Now we'll create a view to make it easier to view all this data as its variant and it may have strange names. This also just makes it easier to query the data <clears throat> as an aggregate. We'll create a view with the weather. And now let's use this weather data. And then let's see that if the weather will affect the number of trips every day. So to the chart and we'll see. Yep. It seems to make sense from what we've seen before that days that have good weather, the bikes are most popular. And then as the weather gets worse, 
it's less popular, which makes sense. And also with our trend in the beginning where we saw in the colder months that the trips were fewer, makes sense here as sea snow, mist, worse weather in these colder months also contributes to less trips over time. So that concludes our demonstration of the snow site UI. As you can see, to recap what we did today, we just used some simple SQL queries. We use this chart function here in snow site, similar to Tableau. We could easily change the type of chart type we want, what the data we want in each axis. You could see, visualize the trends very easily. And we also loaded data here, this semi-structured JSON data, we did it in a matter of seconds. I used no ETL. I just used some simple SQL queries here. And we're able to load all this data almost instantly. So that concludes my demonstration today. If you want more info, you can always check out kcmsolutions.com or please email info at kcmsolutions.com.